Right, so before we start, let's have a look at get some ideas here and I'll just explain a few things to you. Right, first of all, this is bolted. So this would be like when you just cut this down, this this outer bit here, I think you can just see it, is white. Don't even for a minute try carving this when it's when you've just cut it down. It is so sappy. It's unbelievable, it's awful. <laughs> um, so you need to let it dry out a bit. Um, but if you leave it like I have for a long time to spell, what happens is the white changes to this sort of whitish colour. But it's nice to have that on, on your work, like because it, it's a nice sheen, it's, but obviously your positioning has to be right and you have to think about... Um, oh what you're doing where you're gonna your placement's gonna be or you'll miss out on this nice white layer because it can throw some really interesting colors again this is throwing some nice yellows I don't know if you can see that it's a very I don't know is it translucent is that the word it's almost like goldy shiny I think this it's a pretty wood very large grains it's not a plant that's a very fast growing plant and it's very curvy and twisty as well, as you can see. So we got a piff here. This has got to come out. It's a really punky piff. So we've got to go down and take that out. And then really we're looking at... It's it's twisty. So if we put... Oh, let's say this... Yeah, we're probably going to have to come from this angle. That will be our blade, the top of our blade. And then we'll cut down through a bit the wood to flatten it out a little bit. Um, but this is going to be quite a tricky bit of wood. I'll have to think about this. But um, And then we'll try and straighten it out by running it over to here and running it down to, to straighten up the, the bit of wood. Maybe we'll, we'll see how we go. It's not the best piece of wood, but I haven't got any straight bits. They've all seemed a bit, bit curved. And that one's a little bit better. There's a nice white there. That'll be for another video. I think the colours are really nice with this and I'll see what I can do. So let's take our bark off. Where am I? You know there. There it goes. Um We'll have a go. We will have a go. see some nice yellows coming out, some custard yellows. Right, so it's looking a bit flatter. Let's 
go down the other side of it, see if we can make our blade not go too close. We can have a look what we're doing. Got split there. Going back to there. So that's got to go. It's okay. we can do there so let's go down here see we could it always looks a bit weird that way though could we then drop that down so have a look I think we could actually we could come at it from that angle reverse it as they say so there's our top now what we're going to do, so what I did last time I went straight down really you want to go in and out you need yourself something like that A little Tab. Well, that's even better again. This sort of thing, so it flares out for it's like um, call it a pinch, it's like a large pinch, something that's jams up against you. I put your thumb on, or if you have to reach something longer, that you can just grab a pinch it. It's there. You know, you can use it multiple length. I find it's nice to have something like that. And this, obviously, if you can go down for the layers, is a nice feature. We've got sort of some colour there, some nice colours there. Whereas that doesn't particularly make see that would be that angle. That's what you'd have if I go at it this way. I'll have something like that, I think. Whereas this is more like that. Yeah, this would be more like that approach I think yeah and I can see I can go down at a slight angle here and see what I've done here and bring out these layers so that they run all the way along you <clears throat> it's, obviously it takes a bit of practice but it's nice to make something that's beautiful isn't it it's, it's practicality yes but you want to take it one make something as beautiful as you can because um, well, that's the difference between buying something wholesale and something handmade, isn't it? You, you can make something that's absolutely unique. So that's what, we, and it's going to be because this is a unique wood anyway. So, but we've got to, the art really is to bring out as much beauty of this wood as we can, and a lot of that is showing off the layers. So I think we're going to come up this way, and um, you can see how this is a large layer here. I'm going to see if I can go down here. That's well, I'll go that way, and I should still be able to go through layers. So we straighten it out. So I think I need to come down a bit. It's difficult, it's difficult what to decide to do because this works. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be straight. It can curve. It's fine for stirring if you come at an angle. I think I'm going to take this away. Yeah, I'm not going to straight it out, go that way. I'm going to keep it curved. It'll be, it'll be useful and I think it'll, it'll look better. So let's take out a bit of this and come in at this angle to leave ourselves a flare, a thing, a pinch of some sort, and just take out some of the bolt. So you can go like that, just put some notches in, and then go down through. Yeah, 
the bit more, a bit further. I'll do this slower if I was doing it myself, but obviously I'm not quite going to get the uh, same result as doing it on film, but hopefully it will turn out all right. Again, we're not going for any definitive shape. It's a suck and see, which is the way I like to carve. I think it's a nice way to carve because you always end up with something different. You never quite know what you're going to get. And it means that if you make a mistake, then you're thinking, oh, around it, what I can do to, to get around that mistake. Um, and I find with this type of carving, no, it's very rare that there's ever a fatal error that you make a fatal mistake. Uh, I think I'll take some of this off as well. split that goes up to about there so all that's got to go but as we'll take this off the axe save ourselves some life work See how I like this axe, it's very light, it's, it's very easy to use, and I can take thin little layers off. It's very controllable, it really is. For making small wooden pieces like this, you really cannot beat this axe, it's worth every penny. It's probably, uh, I think it was £90 when I bought it. Obviously, I've changed the handle, but there was nothing wrong with the handle, I was just um, looking for a project again. Um, Yes. I have to straighten out a bit. It's too curved. If it, if something curves around like that, I've made things like it feels really awkward. Whereas if they curve that way, it feel it feels sort of natural. It's better. It's easy. It's something about it. If 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 it curves down like that, it's bloody awful. So I'm looking at it. It's, I think you can. Yeah. If you just think. Let's get something straight so you can get an idea. Let's try that. Let's see if that's. Can you see? It's near enough straight. If we go down, we can straighten this out. Sort of take off all this top right down, and that is nearly flat. Actually, that's probably the best way. Ooh, I don't know. Can we? Mm. It's not flat. I think we'll, we'll go. I'll risk it for a biscuit. And um, if it ends up being a video of not how to make a spatula, then so be it. Or one of the f fatal flaws, because it's a bit risky that. Because I've made spoons that twist that way before, and it's awful. They well, a, I've got a box full of spoons that are wrong like that and this is heading that way but we'll try we'll try and straighten out wrong I'm gonna have to go that way right not a problem 
it's just I can see that I'm just not going to be able to flatten that end. It's slightly bent down when you hold it, even when a stir, it just doesn't feel right. It's a really, it's a real big no-no for ergonomics. So it's going to have to be that way, slightly curving up. See our cracks there. So I'll thin it out. Yeah, let's go to our knife now then. Right, that's probably enough for uh, part two. I think it's probably going to be part two. And this will so see you in part three.